guys, I'm Laura. This is my channel, Laura and Real Expat Life. If you are new here, welcome. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up, subscribe and turn on notifications so you know when I've uploaded my next video. I wanted to just do a short video today on visas uh, in Europe and how I got my visas, etc. I've had a couple of questions about that, so I thought I would do just a really quick uh, video about that. Uh, disclaimer, I am in no way a visa expert. I've not studied, I haven't looked into anything. Things may have changed over the years. If you're wanting to get a visa to work abroad, um, definitely talk to the consulates, look on the consular websites and everything. There's a lot of information on there, what the requirements are. Um, this is just my personal experience and what I know, but definitely check and make sure of any changes that have been made. Um, when I first moved to Germany, I was an au pair. That made it really easy to get a visa. Um, it's a pretty straight cut and dry thing. Uh, there are specific requirements that go into being an au pair. You have to be of a certain age. You can only do it for so long. You can only work so many hours. Um, there's a lot of requirements that go into it. So it made it a really easy way to get over to Germany. Um, I didn't need the visa before I arrived. I just showed up. I basically entered the country on, on technically a tourist visa. And then, which you don't need any formal visa. It's just when you enter the country, that's what it's called. Um, and then I had the family and I went with a contract and signed contract and everything for, for working to the, what's called the Arbeitsagentur um, and the Ausländeramt, which is like the foreign office. Uh, and we applied for my visas that way. And be, again, because it was an au pair situation, it was a very cut and dry, easy to get, no problems, no hardly any questions asked or anything like that. I didn't need to speak German. We did have to prove that the family was going to enroll me into uh, German classes. Um, uh, the contract was only for one year etc. So um, very easy way to go. After that, um, as a nanny and as an English teacher, as an English teacher, it was fairly easy as well to get my, my visa. There was no problem with that. But then I had an issue with the jobs uh, situation that I was in and the company wasn't able to continue paying me. So after a few months of not being paid, I left them and I ended up getting another job as a nanny for an American family living in Germany. Uh, we did get denied our visa um, because being a nanny, that's kind of a job that any German can do. So the German government basically said, well, why does this American need to take a job away from, from a German? And we were able to, after um, hiring a lawyer and going back and forth with the with the government about everything, we were able to get it passed that because I spoke fluent German and American English, I was able to work with small children and help the family with their German needs and everything like that. So um, we were able to kind of work around the system and be able to continue with my visa. Um, after that, uh, again, as a nanny, it kind of snowballs. Once you are in the country and you have a visa, it's a lot easier to keep the visa and to, as long as you're employed, you usually can continue to get a visa. Your your company and contract, the com country just wants to know that you have a job, that you're employed, that you're not gonna be living off the government. Now, if at any point I had lost my job, I would not have been able to get unemployment. I would have been going back to the States. Um, so that is one thing that uh, I risked every time when I was trying to look for a new job or hoping to get a new visa, reapplying and things like that, is that I risked having to just basically leave because if I didn't have a job, I wasn't going to be staying. So that's one thing to watch out for. Make sure that you have a job, you have employment. Uh, you cannot usually just stay on a, on a tourist visa either you have to actually leave the country and return so yeah you can you can kind of get extensions and, and apply for things there's there's a little bit of leeway like if you can't get a flight out for two more weeks or something they're not going to kick you right out of the country but you do have to do everything formally like that and request extensions onto the visa and and things like that um for spain it's a lot different um, every country, it seems, even in the Schengen area, is very different um, as to what the requirements are, which is why I say make sure you check with your consulars if you're looking to go to a country because every country it requires different things. In Spain, you actually have to apply for your working visas outside the country from your home country and apply through the consular there. Uh, you cannot come into Spain as a tourist, find a job and stay. 
they don't allow that. You have to return to your, your original country. So if you're an American, you go back to America, you apply for the visa, and then you return to Spain with that, with that visa. But you cannot apply for it when you're in the country. You can come here on a tourist visa. Most tourist visas in most countries, I believe, are 90 days. I don't know if there's any, there might be a few exceptions, but I think for the most part, 90 days is a tourist visa. Um, within the Schengen countries, you do not need, there's no passport control, there's no extra visas that you need. Um, even within the non-Schengen countries, I don't believe that there's any or many visas. Again, check check travel websites and make sure don't take my word for it. Um, but for the most part, traveling within Europe and within the EU um, does not require any border controls. All of that is gone now. Um, over the last, gosh, I don't know, probably 15 years, there's been no more border controls. There's no more um, passport controls. When you travel outside of the Schengen, so like if you fly from Spain to England, um, there is a passport control because England is not a Schengen country. Uh, so check up that. Um, there is a there's a website for the Schengen. Just look up, just Google Schengen countries and non-Schengen countries if you really are concerned about what countries you're gonna be traveling to. Um, always check your country that you're traveling to, the websites to make sure of what visas you need. But within Europe, within Schengen, there's really nothing extra as an American that you would need to travel. Um, now Europeans, when they travel to America, do need visas. So that's one thing that we don't have in common in the way of going back and forth. Um, I think that's pretty much about all I wanted to say about visas. If you guys have any questions, you can ask me, but I'm not, again, I'm not an expert. So I will do my best to answer from my experience, but that's about all I can do. Okay. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video. Give us a thumbs up and we'll see you in the next one. All right. Ta-ta for now.